Published 0444, est, the 9th of November 2017, updated 0608, est, the 9th of November 2017, Brendan O'Carroll has insisted the stars of Mrs. Brown's Boys are not tax avoiders and accused the BBC of stalking and ambushing his daughter following the Paradise Papers revelation. The comedian has defended three of the show's actors insisting they pay tax monthly on loans from an offshore trust to avoid a hefty yearly bill and hit out at critics who he claims are trying to tarnish his show. Mr O'Carroll's daughter Fiona Delaney, her husband Martin and Paddy Houlihan put £2 million into a tax avoidance scheme in Mauritius. It was revealed on BBC's Panorama. Scroll down for video Brendan O'Carroll has insisted his daughter Fiona, right, paid more than £176,000 in tax last year. Fiona O'Carroll was approached outside the BBC studios by Panorama's Richard Bilton, who asked her about the offshore scheme. However, Mr O'Carroll, 62, has said they all paid their tax and that his daughter Fiona paid more than £176,000 in tax last year. The Dubliner said no one involved with Mrs. Brown's boys has done anything illegal. Everybody that featured in that show did what they did for completely different reasons. Paddy and Fiona wanted to regularise their income over a period of time so they could pay tax over a longer period of time. What's really important is that nothing they did was illegal. In the case of Fiona, Paddy, and Marty, not one penny of their BBC money went into the fund. Not one penny of their TV appearances went into that fund, or overseas sales went into that fund. Not one fee went into that fund. Mr. and Mrs. Delaney and fellow actor Mr. Houlihan were introduced by accountant Roy Lyness to a tax advice firm called Aston Court, which operated a number of legal offshore trusts and companies designed to reduce users' tax liabilities in the UK and Ireland, the papers revealed. The comedian said his daughter Fiona, right, wanted to regularise her income over a period of time so she could pay tax over a longer period of time. This graphic demonstrates how the scheme helps the actors to avoid paying tax. Fiona O'Carroll, who plays Maria and her husband, Martin Delaney, who plays Trevor, have been named as members of the scheme. Had three stars moved money to Mauritius firms and cash was sent back to them as loans which are not subject to income tax, according to the Paradise Pay. Papers. Mr. Lioness also helped comedian Jimmy Carr with a similar scheme. Mr. Carr later apologized for his involvement. Mr. O'Carroll and his TV production company are not involved in the scheme. Mr. O'Carroll, speaking to the Irish Sun about the controversy surrounding the three actors, said Panorama said that they are paid offshore. That's BKS. Their fees are paid to a UK agency called Profid who represent them. Mr. Houlihan, who plays Agnes Brown's son Dermot, joined the scheme at the invoice us and we pay their fees to Profid who organise whatever they organise with them to give them their monthly salary. In my daughter Fiona's case I know she paid €200,000 in tax last year. At the time Fiona was ambushed by the BBC guy in Glasgow, she had just done a year-long audit and had a clearance certificate. All her loans were declared. Mr. O'Carroll, speaking to the Irish Daily Star, further explained what they did was, when things started to go well for us, our earnings went up, they thought this was great, it was marvellous, until the end of the year when they got their first tax bill, and now had to borrow money to pay tax on their money that they thought was theirs, which is not theirs because half of it was tax. So they were playing catch-up. Then this structure was introduced to them that they would put their money into a trust, draw a wage down every month, which was something like £8,800, €10,000 a month which was good money. They then would pay tax and insurance on that £8,800 and it gave them an income for the entire year, which is 12 months that we work and the tax is already paid. Mr. O'Carroll also criticised the BBC for ambushing his daughter Fiona over the Paradise Papers revelations outside studios in Scotland when she arrived to film Mrs. Brown's Boys. He added it seems to be an effort to tarnish the show. We've done nothing wrong. 
Mr. O'Carroll criticized the BBC for ambushing his daughter Fiona over the Paradise Papers revelations outside studios in Scotland when she arrived to film Mrs. Brown's Boys. Mr. O'Carroll reportedly said a BBC reporter was stalking and ambushing a young woman walking to work alone. Fiona O'Carroll and her husband Martin Delaney, who invested their money in the scheme, Mr. O'Carroll reportedly said a BBC reporter was stalking and ambushing a young woman walking to work alone. He told the Irish son they scared the life out of her. Obviously I was angry. Fiona was in tears. I spent the whole day comforting her. I wonder what sort of journalistic craving doing that fulfills for you. The reporter didn't learn anything from the conversation or the brutal way he approached her. Yet they went ahead and showed it. Fiona was genuinely confused by this guy running up, asking her about her wages. She didn't know who he was, or what he was talking about. None of the Mrs. Brown people have a Rolls Royce or a yacht, yet there seems to be an effort going on to tarnish the name of the show. But I'm sure the viewers know us better, that we are up front, and always have been. A BBC spokesman told Mail Online this investigation shows there is a clear public interest in the information being reported. It has been conducted in a fair and impartial way by our award-winning current affairs programme Panorama and BBC News journalists. A thorough and fair right of reply procedure was followed. We're satisfied that we've acted fairly and followed our editorial guidelines. The Mail's attempts to contact Mr O'Carroll were unsuccessful. Brendan O'Carroll pictured with his son Danny O'Carroll and his daughter Fiona O'Carroll who both star in the comedy show, pictured together in 2012 the disclosure of 13.4 million previously secret documents reportedly ties major companies and political figures to secretive overseas arrangements. The majority of the leaked Paradise Papers come from Appleby, which specializes in offshore accounts. Here is a summary of some of the names that have emerged in the leak so far. The Queen, Duchy of Lancaster, the private estate of the Queen, was found to have millions of pounds invested in offshore arrangements. Around £10 million from the Queen's private fund was paid in two funds in the Cayman Islands and Bermuda between 2004 and 2005, according to reports. A spokesman for the estate said all investments were why audited and legitimate. Bono II frontman Bono is alleged to have used a company based in Malta, a low-tax jurisdiction, to pay for a share in a shopping centre based in Lithuania. The leaked papers reportedly reveal that Bono, under his real name Paul Hewson, was an investor in the Maltese company New Estates, which bought the shopping centre. The Irish singer said I've been assured by those running the company that it is Y tax compliant, but if that is not the case I want to know as much as the tax office does, and so I also welcome the audit they have said they will undertake. Apple tech giant Apple is alleged to have rearranged its affairs, moving the firm holding most of its untaxed overseas cash to Jersey, after changes were made to controversial Irish tax practices, the BBC and Guardian said. Apple said its new structure did not reduce tax payments in any country and ensured that our tax obligation to the United States was not reduced. Lewis Hamilton world champion racing driver Lewis Hamilton reportedly avoided tax on his £16.5 million private jet after it was imported into the Isle of Man in 2013. According to the BBC, a spokesman for the Mercedes driver said that everything was above board. Lord Ashcroft Former Conservative Treasurer Lord Ashcroft is said to have remained in Nondam after joining the House of Lords, and was domiciled in Belize for tax purposes at a time it was widely believed he had given up on the status. He has insisted he did not ignore rules in relation to the Punta Gorda Trust. Mrs. Brown's Boys Actors Three stars of the BBC sitcom Mrs. Brown's Boys allegedly put more than £2 million into companies in Mauritius as part of a tax avoidance scheme. Patrick Houlihan, Martin Delaney and Fiona O'Carroll took funds received from the production company owned by creator and star of the show, Brendan O'Carroll, and transferred them overseas, the BBC reported. Mr. Al Carroll told the broadcaster neither he nor his companies had been involved in a tax avoidance scheme or structure. Wilbur Ross Donald Trump's Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross is accused of withholding details of his involvement with shipping firm Navigator when disclosing his financial affairs to a Senate committee earlier this year. 
The leaked papers show the billionaire industrialist retains an interest in Navigator Holdings, one of whose most important business relationships is with energy firm Sibur, which is controlled by figures close to Vladimir Putin. Stephen Bronfman, chief fundraiser and senior advisor to Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Stephen Bronfman is being linked to offshore schemes that may have cost Canada millions of dollars in taxes. According to the BBC, the leaks suggest that Mr. Bronfman's investment firm of Claridge had moved millions offshore for the Kolber family for more than 20 years.